Welcome back to my channel guys, today I'll be showing you how to adjust mileage on a Prius Generation 3. This speedometer was taken out of a 2013 car. This method is the same from 2009 up to 2015. First you want to read the chip and see which way it's facing straight and then you want to make a mark on the bottom left which is pin 1. Once you've done that then make an arrow facing up anywhere on the speedometer so that you know which way to fit the chip back. If you put it the wrong way the chip will burn and that can cause circuit issues in the rest of the speedometer. I'm using a roll of tape on one side of the speedometer that is to stabilize it and have it straight otherwise it's diagonal and it makes it harder to work on on the other chips you can see they have a blue paste on them on the EEPROM chip this paste has already been taken off but I will show you how to take this off from the other chips we're going to use a product called Nitro Mores that's a paint and varnish remover and that works really well for us here so just put a tiny bit onto the chip so that if there's any more residue of the blue paste that needs to be taken off make sure you put it all over the, all of the pins so that it can take it all out thoroughly the best way to do this is wait roughly two minutes so that it can soak up all of the paste and get rid of as much as it can and then you can use a tissue to clean the area up As I showed you in a previous video for the chip, we're going to use a hot air gun. Make sure to mark pin 1 again as the blue paste remover will get rid of that in the process. Once it's heated up, you can use any clips to pick it up and make sure you don't force it, it should just slide up by itself. Over here you can see there's still some blue paste that is left on the bottom of the chip. So we're going to put some more of the paste on here. What that's going to do is clear up the connection so that when we're putting the chip back, it won't cause any issues for the EEPROM chip and the PCB connections. We're going to be using the dash fixer machine for this. Connect the 93C XX board with the MPLEX. And we're going to use the 8 pin chip programming clip for this. Once the machine is loaded, we're going to go into Toyota and then scroll up for Prius. The chip is a 93C86 chip. So we're going to select C86 on the menu. We're going to select program. Let the machine read the data on the EEPROM chip. first thing you want to do is save it so that you have a backup of the data in case of any issues in future programming. Once it's saved you can select change mileage. You can change the mileage according to what the customer's original mileage should be. 
you can get a good idea of this looking at the service history and the MOT history of the car. Once you've pressed OK, the machine will load the new mileage onto the chip and it should say data equal. Data equal is a really good sign that shows that the mileage has been written onto the chip and the programming has been done successfully. Just press read so that you can confirm that the mileage has been done properly. As you can see it's showing the new miles at the top. You can press back and start to dismantle the machine. Take the chip off the clip. And move the machine to the side. As you can see, all of the paste has been removed. We're going to put some soldering paste on top of the connections and just touch all of the connections up to make sure they're all perfect. Place the chip carefully onto the PCB and align it so that all of the pins are in line with the connections. We're going to use the hot air blower to secure all of the connections and the pins together. Once it's heated enough it will melt itself back together and then you can use a soldering iron to touch up and confirm all of the connections are in place. This will take out any doubts of any false connections or loose connections. You can put the back cover back on and make sure to put the screws back on as the PCB will become loose if it's not screwed back in. On our meter we didn't put the screws on because that spears or repairs and it's not going into a car but if your one is going into a car you need to make sure that the screws are back. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment if you have any suggestions and subscribe to our channel and make sure you click the bell icon to get regular notifications of our new uploads. Thank you.